All right, we are in three tower mode now. I've got all three of my towers working. I've got, uh, turn off my third um, motor mount. Uh, you can see that here in Pronter Face, using Pronter Face to control this. Printed all these off with this pile of parts. Wink, wink, Ron, smiley face. And uh, so everything is working. I can command this to um, move down. I can tell it to home. And it goes up to the end stops like it should. A little closer if you want to see it. Maybe down the funnel here. So all of that is working. And I'm using my one and last spare ramps board here. So I've got each one of these motors uh, is connected by a ribbon cable that I made. Uh, by the way, if you're doing this kind of thing, you should really invest in a kit a crimper and nice connectors. I've been soldering parts for I don't know how long making my own cables. Spent $15 on um, Amazon for this little kit so I can just crimp nice pins and connectors together. Highly recommend. Well worth the money. So, um, made all these ribbon cables. I'm connected to my ramps board. There's my X driver and my X cable. Y driver and cable Z cable and all my end stops come in here. I'm homing to my max position, so I'm connected to my um, uh, each axis max uh, pin there. So um, so far, everything is working. So on to the next test. Okay, so the test here is will this print? And I don't have a hot end on this yet, but uh, I should be able to watch this and see if the kinematics are right, if this moves around the way it's supposed to. But when you're setting up a delta, you have to do a lot of math. I'm not a good math guy, but you have to measure the length of your rods and the distance between uh, the center of this ball joint and the center of that ball joint and the offset inside here. And you got to put all this into your Marlin firmware and then reflash the firmware when you're done. Um, it's kind of a pain. I've roughly got this set up and I'm using Pronterface here and I'm going to do my standard test cube here because that's what everybody does and it'll be easy to see if I do this. So when I start this, what should happen is it starts to draw a cube <laughs> and it kind of does. So yay for me. Um, if you look down on top of this, it's easier to see. So this is actually filling in the bottom of the cube. So it's just uh, doing a back and forth to fill in the base of the cube. And then when that fills up, it will draw the, oh, it's doing the other side, okay. So when it's done with the other side, it will draw another set of walls and then fill that in for the base. So you can see that it's drawing a square um, and then doing my fill. And the big thing is that this is parallel while it's doing it. And that's the thing that tells me I've got most of my math right, is that this platform should be parallel through all of its moves. And it is. It's starting to tilt or do something weird. I know I have my math wrong. But I always love watching a delta run. It is just neat to watch the symphony of the three things moving together. Um, this is my default speed, and this is fairly fast. Um, I'm not sure that I could actually, with the standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle, flow fast enough, but since I have my high flow nozzle, we'll probably find out if I can do better. But just for fun and grins, um, oh, this is actually 200. I was playing with this earlier, and I forgot that this is 200 times normal speed. This isn't even your standard speed. But I can run this. I can run this speed and I'm not, well, I can't tell. I will tell when I'm actually printing, but I don't think I'm missing any steps. My head is staying here centered as it's printing. Uh, this is pretty good speed, as long as my accuracy is good. Um, it's not too noisy, which was a concern I had with this plate. Um, 
But uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm going to drop this back down to 100 just so you get an idea of what the standard uh, rate is. And you can't really even tell the difference in the film. A little bit. Even that is still pretty good speed. Okay, I had to try it. This is 300% speed. Um, that is pretty darn fast. And again, it doesn't look like I'm missing any steps or skipping. I would never really run it that fast, I don't think. But uh, that is the advantage of a Delta, is that with the light um, print head, with the Bowden tube and the lightness of all the arms and carriages and such, uh, everything is able to move pretty quickly. So I just slowed it back down again. Um, so, the next step, now that I've done this, is to uh, get a hot end on this, which we'll have to wait till tomorrow, and then I also kind of need a build plate. <laughs> I've got nothing to print on right now, but um, I will have to come up with something flat to uh, put down here, and then we'll go from there.